Hi, my name is Sheila. Welcome to the video. We're going to talk about tracking goals. It's 2022. Maybe. Maybe, you know, 2020 and 2021, maybe they didn't do you justice. In 2022 though, we're going forward full steam ahead. So let's talk about why you should be tracking your goals every single month. First up, by looking at your goals every single month, it helps them stay top of mind. You have a lot of things going on. I've got a lot of things going on. Priorities, lists, things you're supposed to be doing, not just for yourself, but for other people. How are you supposed to keep up with it all? Well, if you're not tracking your goals and all of these other things are going on, then you're just sort of going through and doing things on autopilot. You want to check in, make sure that you're staying focused, staying motivated, and by taking a look at those goals every single month to see where they are and what your progress is, that will help you stay on track. You know what they say about writing your goals down? Like it's not enough to just have them in your head. You need to write them down. Well, it's not enough to just write them down. You need to revisit them and track them. All right, number two. One of the really big reasons I like to track my goals and why I've gotten more in tune with tracking them on a monthly basis is because then I can see what's working and what's not working. If something's working really well, I'm just like, okay, I need to double down on that. If there's something else that's not working that well, okay, so first of all, I can assess what's going on and see if I need to make some tweaks or some changes in the next month and then kind of see what I need to do in the next month. And maybe, you know, before the end of the year, I'm realizing, hey, I just need to drop that all together as opposed to going through a whole quarter or halfway through the year or the whole year before I'm realizing that that was just a bad decision and that one needs to go. If I'm not tracking my failures and successes, <laughs> then what am I tracking? Okay, so I just talked about failures, but what about successes? Like you really wanna know whether or not something is really working when it comes to your goals. You really wanna be able to say, this is the thing I now need to focus on. It will help you be more efficient with your time because like I said before, you got a lot going on and now you're not spending time over here on stuff that doesn't even really matter and you now have more time to focus on the things that do. You will better be able to accomplish your goals. So that is the big one for me, identifying successes and failures and making tweaks where I need to. Number three, I like this one too. Maybe this is the second best one I like, but I get to see progress, right? I get to see how well I'm doing with something. It actually helps build my self-confidence because then I'm like, wow, I'm actually achieving something with that. Once I start to get that self-confidence, that sort of boost, then I work even harder. You know how it is. If you're trying to lose weight or something like that, you know, at first it might be difficult. You don't see the scale move at all. But then one week, all of a sudden you're like, okay, wait, two pounds. Okay, wait. And I'm starting to see some definition from me lifting weights. You're like, okay, okay. I'm seeing some progress here. Like I haven't hit the final number, but that progress is enough to motivate me to be even more committed than I was before. I'm so in at that point. Number four, I sort of hinted about this one earlier. Studies show that when you write your goals down, you are more likely to achieve them. We've all heard it said that, you know, it's just a dream, it's just a wish until you write it down and you actually work on it. Go with what studies are saying works. For me, I now have a spreadsheet. I have a couple of different worksheets that I'm working on, but I have one in particular that I use. I have broken it down by month, by quarters. Then I have a comparison for last year, goals for this year, all of that on this one spreadsheet when I open it up. And then I have other tabs where I break some of those different items down even further. I'm looking at my goals all the time. I pretty much update my monthly goals almost daily because there are changes with those. And I'll be like, let me check, let me go in, let me put the new numbers in. It definitely helps me stay focused and stay on task. I definitely feel more motivated when I see numbers moving in the direction that I want them 
to move. Now, of course, for numbers that aren't moving in the direction that I want them to move, like I said before, it gives me an opportunity to sort of tweak that and make some changes. But I definitely think that it helps me feel a little bit more engaged with knowing that I'm impacting those numbers and I actually get to see those numbers move. I love that. Then five, the last one is it makes you accountable to yourself. When you're working for someone else, you work for a company, they may have goals, deadlines, things that you have to do. You're accountable to a manager. Somebody's looking at those numbers to see that you're doing what they're asking you to do. When you write your goals down, the evidence is right there whether or not you did what you said you were going to do. Now, for some people, you may want to have an accountability partner, a Facebook group that you're a part of, or some sort of masterclass team. Whoever it is, that's great. But when you have those goals on a spreadsheet or in a notebook or wherever you may have it in front of you and you check in with those goals every month, you're able to tell yourself whether or not you're living up to the promises that you made to yourself because that's really what goals are. You're saying, hey, this is what I'm promising to achieve for myself this year. I'm going to break it down by months and I'm going to track it and I'm going to see how accountable I can be. Those are the five reasons you should be tracking your goals every single month. I know you guys, it just sounds like something else. You're like, Sheila, you're just giving me more stuff to do this year. Like every day you're telling me you need to do this and you need to do that. If you track your goals, then you will stay more focused and more efficient in terms of what it is you need to do in order to achieve what you're trying to achieve for 2022. If you aren't tracking them, you don't know what's going on. You don't have the data and then you can't make informed decisions about whether you need to keep continuing down one path or whether or not you need to switch gears and do something else on another path. So, I'm not trying to give you guys a whole lot to do this year, but I do think that there are strategies that we can use to make 2022 our best year ever, especially after all that we have gone through over the last couple of years. So if you've been tracking your goals, let me know in the comments, how often do you track your goals? Do you track your goals daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly? And I'm not saying what kind of goals, that, that's entirely up to you. But what do you use that helps you stay focused, stay efficient, and feel like you're making progress and moving forward? What keeps you accountable? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and mwah, peace.